So in a separate space from the primary gallery, we've installed the works of Maya Freelan and Alfred Conti. Maya's work is big, bold, bright, colorful, and incredibly fun to engage with and to look at. And the story behind how she began to use tissue paper to make a flag wall and the quilt, like the one you see behind me, is fascinating and directly ties in with her family legacy. Maya's grandmother was an educator for most of her career, and one day while she was trifling through her things in the attic, she came across this box of art making material and supplies that had been wet, and within it she saw tissue paper where color swirled together and created these gorgeous and fantastic pieces of art in and of themselves. And so today, Maya continues to engage with that legacy by making these large site-specific installations using various portions and colors and clippings and textures of tissue paper. And Maya's work is one that's directly in conversation with histories of quilt making that you see across African American communities. And that is directly tied to enslavement because African American quilt makers found themselves using the discards or using flower sacks and, and any materials that they could find to create quilts to stay warm during the winter months. And so Maya is directly engaged with this legacy of triumph and reuse and recycle to make something that is functional and beautiful. Alfred, on the other hand, is an artist that's very much thinking about the ongoing legacy of social inequity and how it manifests in people's lived lives, how it manifests in uh, economic disparities, and the general experience that someone who is oppressed might have. You can see two examples of his work. One, this incredibly dynamic sculpture, which you see a figure sort of floating in an ether of, of eroded, uh, rusty metal that I think is so fun to look at. And you can also see this incredibly large, enormous, and well-rendered painting that features a man and two young boys. And right in the center of that painting is a shovel and a gun. Now this is because Alfred is an artist who's thinking about the ways that African American communities have mobilized uh, to protect themselves against state-sanctioned violence and, unfortunately, acts of racial terror. So Alfred's work is one that's directly connecting to legacies of self-protection, and I think that might be most easily tied to groups like the Black Panther Party, who are known for also approaching civil rights from a similar gaze. And then you see in this painting, this man who is embracing these two young boys, and they are in a way protected or shielded by these two symbols, one of self-protection, and self-defense, and the other of self-reliance and uplift, especially if you think about the very long history of African-American ag agricultural workers throughout the southeastern United States and further. Our decision to show Alfred and Maya's work together was one based sort of in the thesis of the exhibition, which is that there is an incredibly large spectrum and span of interpretations and responses to the legacy of emancipation.